Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Grandma Dorothy. <clears throat> Anybody else is invited to listen. However, you don't have to. <laughs> ah, positive and confession. Today, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. The rest of my life is the best of my life. God's favor surrounds me like a shield. Out with the old, in with the new. These hands are anointed to prosper. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Thank you, Father, for giving me the desires of my heart and establishing my plans. I can do all things through Christ, who strengthens me. If God be for me, who then can be against me? Yea, God. All right, Lord, I just ask you to just sow your seeds in our heart today. Um that we uh, come with an af atmosphere and create an atmosphere of joy in listening to the things that are about you not about me Lord about you and we just pray that you bless this day as I know you will thank you for your mercies father thank you that every day is a new day and your word says your mercies are new every day thank you for that in Jesus name Okay, we're due. We're still in Joseph Prince's Destined to Reign, March 20th. Let God love you instead. 1 John 4.10 in this, in this is love, not that we loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the appropriation for our sins. You have to love God more. You must have more compassion for God. You have probably heard this type of preaching and may have been tried uh, and may have even tried your best to love God, only to fail miserably. But what is the true definition of love? Let the, the, let the Bible define it for us. This is love, not that we loved God, but that He loved us. Yes, it is not about our love for Him. But his love for us. Pastor Prince, the Bible says that you must love God with all your heart, soul, and strength. Yes, that is true according to the law, Deuteronomy 6 5. And even Jesus taught that as the great commandment when he walked, Jesus taught that as the great commandment when he walked on earth. Matthew 22 37. But that was before he died on the cross. At the cross, he became the very fulfillment of this law for us when he loved us with all his heart, soul, and strength by laying down his body and life on the cross for us. Today we are no longer under the law but under grace. And grace tells us that God loves us, not that we love God. Yet we will love him when we see how much he loves us. The Bible says that while that we are we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8. That's how much he loves us. Beloved, God has been trying your trying your best. Beloved, God has been trying your best to love him. Wow, okay, <laughs> that's what it says. Beloved, God has seen, oh, seen you trying to your best to love him. So sorry about that. <laughs> and because he loves you, he wants, to, wants you to sit down and be still and let him love you instead. He wants to love you with all that he is and all that he has. He loves you unconditionally regardless of who you are or what you have done because his love is not dependent on you but but on himself. He will never stop loving you. So let God love you today. Don't worry about loving him. The more of his love you receive, the more you will fall in love with him. Wow. Let me just read that last part to you again. So let God love you today. Don't worry about loving him. The more of his love you receive, the more you will fall in love with him. Jeez Louise. Thought for the day, God loves you with all that he has and all that he is and all that he has. Isn't that good? I like it. Um, we are going to do the 
Oh, gosh. Let me see here, Mom. I can't believe I misplaced. Oh, it's right in front of me. All right. Plenty of grace to cover me, right? Good. Love it. Gotta have it. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to get rid of those. Those are my little notes. Okay. So we are in the... This is the 21st. This is the last spirit blessing of this series, and then we start over. Isn't that cool? We just start over any time we like. Um, so, day 21. I bless you with the peace of Jesus. Jesus gave his peace to the disciples before he left them. Spirit. I bless you with the peace of Jesus, which is beyond what the world gives. I bless you with the peace he had of being at the right place at the right time, living with urgency of his purpose within himself without being overwhelmed by that urgency, because he knew his father's time was right. I bless you with the being peaceful because you know ahead of time that your father, God, will partner with you to provide adequacy for each day, adequacy for each day, whether a day with pain or pleasure. I bless you in the name of Jesus who wants to be or who wants you to be in step with him. Okay, take it. I'll take that blessing. I bless you in the name of the Father of your spirits. Spirit, the very essence of who you are was placed deep within you before your heavenly Father laid the foundations of the earth. That's up in Ephesians. We love Ephesians. Within you, your carry, you carry his DNA. Let me say that again. Within you, you carry his DNA. I bless you with a lifetime and lifestyle of discovering the very character and nature of your Father and Christ in you the hope of glory. I bless you with the renewal in his spirit. I bless you with no deceit. I bless your total commitment to God of truth, to the God of truth. I bless you with yearning for him in the night and longing for him in the morning. I bless you with becoming strong in spirit, filled with wisdom and the grace of God. The Lord be with your spirit. Okay, we did 21 days of that, and I love it. I know you do too, Mom. Anyway, okay, so I'm just going to do the grace for the day with Max Licato, and then I had a couple couple thoughts, okay? <laughs> oh, no, here you go. Thinking again. Okay, so um, i got to keep looking at that calendar. I'm just, with very little sleep, I'm, you know, having trouble staying focused sometimes, but it's all good. It's all good. From heaven itself, God made you alive with Christ and he forgave all your sins. He canceled the debt, which listed all the rules we failed to follow. Colossians 2, 13 through 14. All the world religions can be placed in one of two camps, legalism or grace. Humankind does it or God does it. Salvation Salvation was a wage based on deeds done. Salvation is a wage based on deeds done or salvation as a gift based on Christ's death. A legalist believes the supreme force behind salvation is you. If you look right, speak right, and belong to the right segment of the right group, you will be saved. The brunt of responsibility doesn't lie within God. It lies within you. The result... The outside sparkles. The talk is good and the step is true. But look closely. Listen carefully. Something is missing. What is it? Joy? What is it? Fear? That you won't do enough? Arrogance? That you have done enough? Failure? That you have made a mistake? Spiritual life is not a human endeavor. It is rooted in the orchestrated by, and orchestrated by the Holy Spirit. Every spiritual achievement is created and energized by God. 
he still moves stones. <laughs> Some of us are stones. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, you know, I was uh, I was walking home from Celebrate Recovery last night, having a little chit chat with God again. And uh, I was thinking about several things. I had a couple of little thoughts here. Um, and I was thinking about um, how uh, how a lot of times we hear people talking about the deserts in life. You know, we have had a lot, a lot of preachers talking about going through the deserts and, and, and this and that and the other thing. And I was thinking about that walking around the lake. And I was thinking, God, I don't want to claim any deserts in my life. You know, I know the challenges will come, just like they do for everybody. But, uh, you know, <clears throat> if we say what we have, and we start running around, uh, talking about the desert, and, uh, you know, talking about how we're walking through the desert, by golly, that's where you're going to be. <laughs> I would rather be having a challenge and uh, use my words to create a uh, atmosphere of, uh, you know, uh, of gratefulness and doing my little joy dance and 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 do what I got to do, do what the word says I got to do to get through it. And you just got to follow. We just got to follow directions. That's it. So, um, you know, the power of your words, you know, if you say you're in the desert, you're going to be in the desert. And I ain't claiming that no more. I ain't just, I'm just not going to do it. Uh, I ain't no camper anymore. I used to camp in the desert. <laughs> I know what that's like. I don't want any more part of it. No part. Um, and, uh, you know, because where, you know, Joyce Meyer says, uh, you know, where the mind goes, the man follows. You know, uh, and our mind is really, uh, you know, I think, I believe, really controlled by what's coming out of our mouths and, and all that stuff. So that's just another little picture that I, I was getting last night. Uh, and um, I wanted to share this part because, um, and Mom, you and I have talked about this, and it's just, I think it's really powerful. I think it's an incredible thing that has happened. And um, I'm not going to go into too many details about it, but... Um, you know, I had nearly 40 years of addiction due, you know, and, and uh, due to the circumstances in my life. Don't need any details about that. We're not here to tell my story. I just want to, I just want to share this one part that I think brings the most glory, uh, other than my salvation, to God. And that is, you know, uh, when... Uh, when you get when you get to, when you've been through some of the stuff that a lot of us have been through, it's it can be really difficult difficult to um, get a new picture in your mind about who who uh, who you are in Christ. You know what happens to you when you surrender and uh, accept His salvation and His love for you. Um, if you can't get a picture of that, if you can't uh, go from there to getting a new picture of who that makes you in, in through Jesus' blood on the cross, boy, oh boy, things can get really difficult. And, um, you know, as I shared, you know, right when I first started doing this, that uh, it wasn't until real recently that it went from here to here. <laughs> that's a, that's a long ways, uh, <clears throat> and uh, I'm just finally getting it. And it really, I, by golly, it really, really, really is a reality. God's love really is a reality, and um, it's just incredible that you know my starting out with this little cam quarter. And I, I just tell you, anybody that happens to be listening. Uh, sometimes you got to get grabby, you got to get creative, you got to start taking some snapshots. You know, if that means standing in the mirror, watching yourself read the Word of God, or getting a camcorder and watching it on to get a new picture, by golly, do it. Just do it. 
whatever it takes. Get that picture. Start, start taking snapshots in your life. You know, get the snapshots. Get the visuals. Create it. Get grabby. Get desperate for it. Because that's when the change happens. When you get that picture. And not everybody gets it right away. I was a slow one. And thank God I'm, I got it. And, you know, better late than never. Doesn't matter where you're at. Just get it. <laughs> you know, because until you do, is we can only get so far. We can only get so far. And if you died and went to heaven today, you know, you'd go to heaven because you believe in Jesus Christ. But if you didn't get that picture and you didn't get to experience what that means and how it affects your life, boy, my gosh, you're not going to have very many victories. It just doesn't, it, you know, you just, it just, you know, uh, Joyce Meyer says that it's impossible for you to walk as a Christian, a victorious Christian, if you don't know what's in here. This will tell you who you are. But what I'm saying is if you got, if you having troubles getting a picture in your mind about who you are in this, you know, get a camera, get in the mirror, read the Word of God, get a picture. Look at yourself reading the Word of God. It will change your heart, change your life. It'll change your life, you know, and some people don't need all that. I did. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just going to bless God. I'm grateful for that. And uh, I'm in love with Jesus. I'm in love with what he did on the cross. I'm in love with that. I love God for that. I thank God that I have a life. I thank the God that I'm finally getting some stuff. And thank God for the power of his word to help me create those pictures. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, I'm not going to run on and on about that anymore. I'm not going to hold you up in your day. Have a great day. And use your words. Create some pictures. Man, just get it. Grab at it. Get get desperate with it. <laughs> get that picture no matter what. All right. I love you. God bless your day. All right. Bye-bye.